Hey everybody, um, my name is Carlos Oliveira Chavero, and for my final persuasive speech, I'll be doing a speech about you know, expanding access to healthcare, and and then one of the reasons why I decided to do this topic is because you know, having access to healthcare has always been very important for many years, and especially for people who suffer from you know chronic illnesses such as diabetes, asthma, and other kinds of illnesses and then also people you know who aren't feeling well will need to go see a doctor and therefore people will need to you know have access to health care or to see a doctor or or eventually to pay for medications and other kinds of treatments however not everyone has access to health care because you know there are like a bunch of barriers about why people are not having access to health care and then one of the main reasons that you know about race which um has always been you know one of the barriers of having access to health care because you know because many um because more whites are having you no know, more access to health care than other races which it has always been for you know for quite some time like probably like way early around the 20th century or later or earlier excuse me and and so therefore they're able to you know have more treatments and have you know be able to go see a doctors and everything and so <clears throat> in which they are able to have more access to health care than the other kinds of races but but also another you know barrier that's keeping from us you know depending on where they live because you know people who live in like in rural areas um, they are less likely to have access to health care because the main reason is that you know because there's not a lot of people living there and there's there's not enough you know businesses that kind of stuff but although those kinds of you know rural areas can be good for you know for farming However, because there's not a lot of people living there, you know, they're not able to have enough workers to work there. And and also, like I said earlier, there's not enough businesses, and therefore people in those areas are not able to, you know, have access to health care because, you know, because there's not enough doctors or because, you know, it would be too far away to go and see a doctor and get medications because... And also because where there are you no know, tons of people you know who live it's in the urban areas because you know because that's the area where there, there's a lot of people there's a lot of businesses and everything and also you know there's a lot of doctors and you know, nurses and everything including hospitals and therefore that's why more people who live in urban areas are able to have more access to health care than people who live in in rural areas because you know because there's a lot of people a lot of businesses and and usually he'll be very busy you know during especially during the daytime and therefore that's why they have access to health care but but I think that one of the main reasons why people are not able to have access to health care is because you know because because of their net worth because you know people you know who don't have or poor or in this case working poor or working class uh, they're less likely to have access to health care than people who are you know middle or upper class because you know what I mean by upper class or work or middle class that means you know people who you know who make you no know, enough money to you know to, to afford you know by at least you know a big house or a nice car than people who are, you know, working class or working poor, which means, you know, people who who have jobs or are working but, but are not making enough money that's, you know, or in this case, a livable wage. And then the working poor is people who, you know, who have jobs that, that don't make enough money to the point where they can't, you know, buy a house or buy a car and those kinds of stuff. And that's one of the main reasons why the working class and the working poor are less likely to have access to healthcare because you know since now in these days you know 
doctor visits and no prescriptions and everything um, they're very expensive now and if you don't have the right health, kind of access to health care is there a bunch of them you know and 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 that and usually they will help you know help you pay for prescriptions but if you don't have the right access to health care you know you may not be able to afford you know or treatments or doctor visits and therefore many those people are either going to skip or cancel their you know their doctor's appointments or not able to pay for prescriptions because they don't have the right kind of health care or they don't have access to health care and therefore why this is a it's one of the huge problems now in these days and I think what we should do is you know <clears throat> make it you know more transparent to see um, who gets as access to health care and and when they get access to health care you know to see what what are the requirements and then what we can do to change it so that more people are having more access to health care regardless of their barriers that are keeping away from them from having access to health care and and then even if you know we don't make enough money or or if you're you know different from everyone else um you shouldn't you should never be turned away for from having access to health care and this is why we should you know fix that so everyone can have access to health care and also to make it more affordable for people who who are working and don't make enough money or or even for homeless people that you know that don't have anywhere to stay especially during the winter months so they can have access to health care because you know eventually they're at risk of having you no know, severe illnesses and this is why it's important to experience access to health care for everyone even for those who who are working or not so they can have the right care that they need and for their well-being and this is for and this is the reason why I decided to do this topic on expanding access to health care and I hope in these days we everyone will have access to health care so they can you know live along in the health in the healthy life and for their emotional and their physical well being and hopefully hopefully this can change in a few years or so and so hopefully they can change so that people can have you no know, health care even even young children as well or adults doesn't matter the age but everyone should have the right access to health care for their well-being and hopefully everyone will have the right kind of access to health care in the years to come and and this is why I decided to do my final persuasive speech of expanding access to health care because I think this is one of the main big issues and I hope in a few years this will change and hopefully everyone will have access to health care and see ya.